Hello, today we're going to have a go at painting an aerial perspective using watercolours. Uh, so I've just drawn out a square on my paper. Um, it can be a rectangle, however you want it. And we need at least five areas of kind of uh, mountainous kind of thing. So you're going to bring your pencil across the page. Um, and try and get these can overlap. I might actually have one coming down there. So we've got four and I'll do one more here. And this front one. Okay, so I'm just gonna rub out those bits where I've overlapped. Okay, so these are our five areas where we're going to paint. As long as you've got five different areas that go from the front to the back, you're ready to go. So we're using watercolours today. I've got these, you can use the watercolours in the smaller palettes, whichever ones you prefer to use. <clears throat> I've got this kind of paintbrush here, so it's quite nice and thick for the big areas. Uh, there's a point on the end for the bits more detail. So I'm going to pick one main colour to use. So you can use any colour that you want. I think I'm going to go for the green today. Okay. So you will need your main colour and then you need um, black and white as well to mix in some greys or some darks and lights. However. Okay. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to use my palette over here to mix up a kind of a medium colour. So I'm going to some that green in here. I'm going to start in the middle so that then I can make I'm, I'm going lighter towards the back and darker towards the front. So I'm going to add a little bit of black in there and I'm also going to add a little bit of white. Get some white off that one to make it a little bit of a tone. Okay. So this is going to be my middle area. Just move these out the way. And using that tip going up to the line, drag that around there. Now, I prefer to turn my page, so I prefer to do it this way, so I'm just going to bring that about. Let's get a bit more paint. So we're going to try and get these as smooth as possible. So, so let's try and drag this out so I've got this main area. Now, it doesn't matter if you've got the sides, because we can cut this off the paper, but within painting, we want to go as neat as we can. So there we go. Now, heading backwards, we want to go a bit lighter. So I'm going to add a bit more white to my pigment here. I'm going to take some of this. I'm going to add more white so it desaturates the pigment a bit. And you want to make sure it's different enough. You can also go lighter by adding more um, water. I want to make sure the pigment is different, so I'm going to try this one for here. Yeah, that's definitely lighter. So we'll bring that across there. And here. Try and smooth that as much as you can. Okay. And then in the, the back, we're going to go as light as possible. So I'm probably just going to take it directly from this white, but obviously I've still got some green on my brush. I'm going to do the sky. Like I said, you can pick any colour that you want to do for this. We do it in blues, reds, as long as we can see. So we're looking at aerial or atmospheric perspectives, so it gets kind of lighter and grayer 
as you go back and then more saturated and, and ultimately dark at the front. So there's our three lighter areas. I, I do like to start, it doesn't matter where you start really, but I like to start with this one so I know that's getting lighter and then we'll go darker towards the front. So I'm gonna take a bit more of this green into my original color and maybe a tiny bit of more black. I'm probably not gonna add white to it anymore. Just put that dark a bit in there. And that's gonna be this one. Yes, that's definitely darker. If you find you mix your colours and you think, oh, they're too similar, I can't really see it's darker, then obviously remix them. You can you can use layers on, the, on these. So bring that in there. Trying to smooth it out as much as I can. Okay. And so then finally, I'm still going to use my green, but I'm going to have a lot more black into this for the front layer. So it's really quite dark. Okay, so I've mixed the black into the green. It's looking very dark there. And that is going to be my front layer. We should have mixed a bit more of this up, running out a bit, so I'll just mix a little bit more. It's better to have what you need at the beginning, so you're not mixing a slightly different shade, but there we are. So try and get this nice and smooth. That is pretty much that. So once that's cut out, you've got your layers showing how um, with the light that gets in the way of each of, of the layers of, of hills or mountains um, becomes uh, less saturated, lighter as it heads backwards from a slope perspective.